Good morning, COP. Welcome to another Daily Devotions with me, Basora A. I'm so happy and excited to get to be with you this Saturday morning. Today, we're going to be kicking things off with our Psalms and our Proverbs before we get into our Old Testament and our New Testament. So let's begin this morning by taking a look at Psalms chapter 78, and we're going to go from verse 56 all the way to verse 66 together. Yet they tested and rebelled against the Most High God and did not keep his testimonies, but turned away and acted treacherously like their fathers. They twisted like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places. They moved him to jealousy with their idols. When God heard, he was full of wrath, and he utterly rejected Israel. He forsook his dwelling at Shiloh, the tent where he dwelt among mankind. And he delivered his power to captivity, his glory to the hand of his foe. He gave his people over to the sword, and he vented his wrath on his heritage. Fire devoured their young men, and their young women had no marriage song. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, as strong men shouting because of wine, and he put his adversaries to root, and he gave to them everlasting shame. It's important for us to remember COP. We're not the ones who have to worry so much about what this person's doing, what this person's doing, this battle, this battle. What does God say? He put his adversaries and put them in everlasting shame. Our role, COP, is we need to just keep doing what we're supposed to be doing. Have our relationship with God going good. Read our Bible. Pray every day. Obey Him. Do the work that He has called out for us to do. That is what we need to do. We need to let God handle the stuff that He needs to be handling. Let's now take a look at our Proverbs passage together for this morning. We're going to Proverbs chapter 2, verses 16 to 19 together. It says, So you will be delivered from the forbidden woman, from the adulteress with her smooth words, who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. For her house sinks down to death and her paths to the departed. No one who goes to her comes back nor do they regain the path of life. You know, what is very wonderful about the Bible is it teaches us what we should be doing, who we should be with, who we should be around. And it just as equally teaches us what we should stay away from, who we should not be with, who we shouldn't be around. And that's very important for us to remember and understand that there is clear direction that God lays out for us in our life. Let's remember that this morning as we open up our hearts and worship our wonderful and amazing Heavenly Father this morning. Thank you, Jesus. You are good and you will be Lord over all our lives. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you so much for the power for your promises in our lives. For your word that is true. And we love you so much, Lord God. Love you so much, Lord.
All right, COP, we're going to go through our Old Testament passage now. Let's open up our Bibles this morning to 1 Chronicles chapter 16, and we're going to go through verses 1 through 43 together this morning. It says, And they brought in the ark of the God and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And they offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord and distributed to all of Israel, both men and women, to each a loaf of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. Then he appointed some of the Levites as ministers before the ark of the Lord to invoke, to thank, and to praise the Lord, the God of Israel. Asaph was the chief, and second to him were Zechariah, Jael, Shemeroth, Jehiel, Matiath, Eliab, Beniah, Obed-Edom, Jael, who were to play harps and lyres, and Asaph was to sound the cymbals. He's a drummer. And Beniah and Jehaziel, the priests, were to blow the trumpets regularly before the Ark of the Covenant of God. Then on that day, David first appointed that thanksgiving be sung to the Lord by Asaph and his brothers. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wondrous works. Glory in his name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous work that he has done and his miracles and the judgments that he uttered. Remember, God doesn't just do amazing things in our life that we can just see and attain. And that way he does signs, miracles, and wonders. And he organizes all of these things and lays them all out before we even know. God is an amazing God. O offspring of Israel, his servant, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgment are on all of the earth. Remember his covenant forever, the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statue. To Israel, an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan and your portion for an inheritance. When you were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Touch not my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the earth, tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for the gods of all people are worthless idols. But the Lord made the heavens, splendor and majesty are before him, Strength and joy are in his place. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Yet the world is established, it shall never be moved. We COP have such an amazing opportunity and such an amazing Heavenly Father that we get to come and worship Him and praise Him and have relationship with Him and have fellowship with Him and that we get to praise Him for His strength, for His protection, for His wisdom, for all of the things that He is doing in our heart and in our life. What an amazing Heavenly Father we have. Verse 31. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. 
O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Say also, save us, O oh God of our salvation, and gather and deliver us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Then all the people said, Amen, and praised the Lord. So David left Asaph and his brothers there before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to minister regularly before the Ark as each day required. And also Obed-Edom and his sixty-eight brothers, while Obed-Edom, the son of Jehudun, and Hosha were to be gatekeepers. And he left Zadok, the high priest, and his brothers, the priests, before the tabernacle of the Lord in the high place, that was Gibeon, to offer burnt offerings to the Lord on an altar of burnt offerings, regularly, morning and evening, to do all that is written in the law of the Lord that he commanded Israel. And with them were Heman and Jehudun, and the rest of those chosen and expressly named to give thanks to the Lord, for his steadfast love endures forever. Heman and Jehduthun had trumpets and cymbals for the music and instruments of the sacred song. The sons of Jehduthun were appointed to the gate, and all the people departed each to his house, and David went home to bless his household. Imagine that your work, you are chosen and expressly named to give thanks to the Lord. COP, we want to be chosen and expressly named that we get to give thanks to our amazing Heavenly Father for He so deserves it. Let's now open up our hearts this morning and worship our Heavenly Father some more.
Thank you.
we're going to go through our New Testament passage together. It's Acts chapter 28, verses 17 to 31. It says, After three days he called together the local leaders of the Jews when they had gathered and said to them, Brothers, though I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans. When they had examined me, they wished to set me at liberty because there was no reason for the death penalty in my case. But because the Jews objected, I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, though I had no charge to bring against my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have asked to see you and speak with you, since it is because of the hope of Israel that I am wearing this chain. And they said to him, We have received no letters from Judea about you, and none from the brothers coming here have responded reported or spoken evil about you. But we desire to hear from you what your views are. For with regard to the sect, we know that everywhere it is spoken against. When they had appointed a day for him, they came to him and his lodging in greater numbers. From morning till evening, he expounded to them, testifying to the kingdom of God and trying to convince them about Jesus, both from the law of Moses and from the prophets. And some were convinced by what he said, but others disbelieved. No matter what's going to happen, some people are going to believe and some people are not. That's just part of how it goes. But here, you see, he's facing life. He's facing death. Capture. Set me free. I'm going to go here. The Jews say this. The Romans say this. He doesn't change who he is. He still does the same thing. Sharing and preaching God. Sharing salvation message. Declaring who he is. Declaring what he has done. That is important. Disagreeing among themselves, they departed after Paul had made one statement. The Holy Spirit was right in saying to your fathers through Isaiah the prophet, Go to this people and say, You will indeed hear, but never understand. And you will indeed see, but never perceive. For the people's heart has grown dull, and with their ears they can barely hear. And their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes to hear of their ears and understand with their hearts. and turn, I would heal them. Therefore, let it be known to you that salvation of God has been sent out to the Gentiles. They will listen. He lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus with all boldness and without hindrance. Some people chose to believe. Some people didn't. Did that change his message? No. Did that change what he was going to do? No. You see here, he lived there two whole years at his own expense and welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming that the people who don't believe are bad. No, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. You see, it's not about opinion. It's not about what I think, what I read in a book, what I feel. It's about the Bible. It's about your relationship with the Heavenly Father. And he understand, you know, okay, the Holy Spirit was right. I'm going to have this message. I'm going to say it. I'm going to share it. But the Holy Spirit told him, some are going to understand and some are not going to understand. Some are going to believe and some are not going to believe. We can't control what other people are going to say and do. But COP, we can control ourselves. We can control that we are going to proclaim the kingdom of God. That we are going to teach about the Lord Jesus Christ with all boldness and without hindrance. And that we are going to believe in him and hold on to his word. Amen. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you this morning. We thank you, Father, for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for all the things that you've done. Lord, we continue to pray and ask that you give strength and healing to our nation. That sickness and disease be far, Lord God, from our households. That you keep the blessings of a tither, Lord God, upon our household. For you are so good and such an amazing provider, Lord God.
Lord, we pray for strength and wisdom to come to all of our government officials. Strength and wisdom, Lord God, to our doctors, our nurses, our all of our frontliners, Lord God. Lord, give them strength, Lord God. Give them the abilities, Lord God, and the help strengthen them from the inside, Lord, in this time. Father, we pray and ask for continual good news and good reports to come. Lord, we pray and ask, heal our land, touch our land, Lord God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that sickness and disease not just be far from our homes, Lord God, but, Lord, far from our land. We thank you, Lord God, for your blessings. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness, Lord God, because you are so good and deserve and worthy to be praised. Lord, we just pray, Lord God, that we want to be those that get to give you thanks, that we get to praise you for who you are and for what you're doing. And Lord, let us never forget about you, what you have done in our heart and in our life. We worship you, Lord, and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, COP, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We look forward to seeing you over the next few days and this weekend in God's house. Have an amazing day, COP, and God bless.